Paul, Paul is an impostor. That is why, as I said, we are inviting you to the religion of all the prophets, which is Islam. That's what Allah said in the Quran. In Surah al maida you know, in Sirah, in Surah al Imran, chapter 3, verse 64. Cool, you have kitab. Say, oh, people of the book. Say, oh, you son Christian. Dalal ila kalebatin sawa ibn abinakum. That come to common terms as between us and you. Allah, na'buda illa Allah. That we worship number Allah. Wala nusuk be ishe out. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yatsuk no bad dah bad dan alba ba bi judul lah. That we erect not from ourselves lords or patrons under Allah. For it our Allah. But if they turn away for kulu salu, then bear witness. They are now Muslim. They were Muslims bound to Allah's will. Brothers and sisters, we are inviting you to the religion of all the prophets, which is Islam. Islam simply means submitting one will to will of Almighty God, worshiping only one God, the Creator. I do not associate any parts with him. Stop worshiping Jesus. Stop worshiping idols. If you die doing that, it's hellfire. You read the Quran in Surah Al Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 72. He said, Lakar Kafar Lazina Kalu, in the Allah, who must you do Mariam? They are blaspheming. They are disbelieving. Those who say that Isa, Jesus, the son of Mariam, the son of, the son of Mary, is Allah, is Almighty God, Rokal Al Masih, or said Christ. They are Bani Israel. Oh, children of Israel, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi or Rabbi Kum, who is my Lord and your Lord. In the home is Rubin Lad. Verily, anyone who associates partners with Allah, Fakar Haram Allah, or Al Jannah. Allah will make Jannah for us, but Jannah forbidden for me. Paradise will be forbidden for that person. Uma Huna, Uma Liza Libin and Ansar. And the fire of hell will be that person above, and he shall have no help as in the after. My brothers and sisters, you see, Prophet Muhammad, peace on him, is the last and final prophet messenger to the whole mankind. We believe in all the prophets, and we do not make any distinction between any of them. Any Muslim who doesn't believe in Jesus will make a distinction with the prophet, you're not Muslim. We believe that. We believe that he was born miraculously without any intervention. Mary was a virgin. Maria. We believe that Jesus healed those born blind. Lepers. Yeah, he healed people, those who are blind. He raised the dead to alive. Raised the dead to power by Allah's will. But he's not God. He never said he's God. He never worship me. You read the Bible. What did Peter say? When Jesus left this world, Peter and the disciples went to address the crowd. You read that in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 22. Acts 2, 22. Jesus, it, Paul, Peter said to the crowd, remember, Jesus already left this world. Peter and the disciples went to address the crowd. Peter said, O oh, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested you by God. A man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs. We got it in him and you are with us for it. So all the miracles that Jesus performed, Almighty God was doing it. Jesus never said he's God and never said worship me. Brothers and sisters, we are inviting you. Religion, all the prophets, which is Islam. Jesus was a Muslim, all the prophets are Muslims. Hey, come and ask your question. You have a free Quran. Free Quran. Any question you want to know about Islam, come and ask us. If you want to know about the Quran, come here. If you want to know about the Bible, come here. We know the Bible inside out. Inside out. Alhamdulillah. So we're here inviting you to religion of all the prophets. All the prophets are Muslims. When Jesus said, Gospel of John 14, 28, my father has given an eye. How can you be God? When Jesus said, God, Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse number 30, I can of myself do nothing as I hear a judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, for the will of him who sent me. Yeah. Who sent Jesus? <laughs> Almighty God sent him. Yeah. He did not send himself. He said he was sent by God. You read the Bible again in your Bible in Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse number 42. Jesus said, If God were your father, if God were your father, you love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. So if Jesus said God sent him. How can he be God? Explain that. Yeah, it's incredible. He was on the prophet, the Messiah. Send it to children of Israel. He never said he's God. He never said worship me. Now I'm asking you, if Jesus is God, according to the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, if Jesus is God, absolutely, 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 I agree with you, from Great. Absolutely. They're, they're all the same, exactly. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yesterday. So, as I said, so you see, so what we're saying, we're telling you, Jesus had a God, he worshipped the God. He cannot be God. He's calling God my God. He's crying to God. You read the Bible. According to the, 
the Bible of Proverbs, the Bible, I want the Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number uh, 27, verse number 46. He said that according to the Bible, when Jesus being he was being crucified, he said, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthani, oh my God, oh my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Now we're asking, who was it? Who was he crying to? Who was he crying to himself? Does it make sense? Who was he crying to? My brothers, you know, you know, you go to church, you know, they lie, the pastors, especially my African pastors, they lie. It's all about money. That's it. That is even you. If Jesus went to the mountain to pray, according to the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 6, verse number 12, Jesus went to the mountain to pray. He said, Jesus went out to the mountainside to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Who was he praying to? Was he praying to himself? I've never seen even mad people don't pray themselves. He's insane. You've been deceived. Read your, read your Bible. And after had the, get a copy of the Quran, read the Quran. Your salvation is not in Jesus. In the Old Testament, Almighty God in your Bible. If you say Old Testament, God said He's the only Savior. He's emphatic. You read the Bible in Gospel in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, 3 to 5. Read that. Read it. He said, You shall have no other God besides me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I do love your God. I'm a jealous God. Emphatic. That means you are going against what God's in the Old Testament. That means you believe in, uh, in Paul, Paul the imposter, who say bow down to Jesus, Philippians 2.10. But God in Exodus 20.3-5. The, uh, the same message repeated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, chapter 5, verse number 7 to 9. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. In your Bible, God said it twice. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, 3 to 5. And in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse number 7 to 9. Read your Bible. We are inviting you to the religion of all the prophets, which is Islam. All the Muslims, all the prophets who are Muslims, they all submit to their will to Almighty God. My brothers and sisters, we have got uh, the Quran here. It's only one Quran. The Quran is preserved. And the challenge is there. Yeah, challenge upon challenge. If you read the Golden Quran, this Quran, Quran is the last and final say. If you read the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 52. Here, Allah said, said, this Quran is a clear message for all of mankind. This Quran is a clear message for the whole of, man, for the whole of mankind. Let them take one name there from. Let them, know, let them know that there is only one Allah, one God. And let the men of understanding take heed. 